Well, it's Jeff's last day here. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's his last morning here because we're taking him to the dock right now to take a cab to the airport. So we gotta put the dinghy in first. How was boat life, Jeff? Mm. Amazing. I <laughs> don't want to leave. So you can good. stay, bro. So you good. can totally stay. We're not making you. I know. We'd rather you stay. <laughs> I would rather stay too. Then you could go on some long sails with us yeah, too. Yeah, a big crossing. Bro, I love to do long crossing. I knew it would be awesome. How how was boat life compared to your, ex your expectations? It exceeded it. It was so good. It couldn't have really been better. I mean, the weather was so perfect. And we got some amazing diving. We got to surf. Clean, good waves. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that. It doesn't. Does it make you want to get a boat? Yes. Of course. <laughs> it really does. It makes me want to follow you guys right now. Jeff, Jeff's been thinking about getting a sailboat for a couple years now. Mm -hmm. This was... This was the test <laughs> to see if I really like the life, and there's no question. It's so, good. so now it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. <laughs> it is. I gotta learn how to sail one now. Well, you already know how to sail, dude. You just keep doing that thing you were doing on the winch over and over. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Yeah. <laughs> All right, more. putting the dinghy in and going. It's really complicated, dude. No, it's simple once you... Hiding the four lines, dude. On this thing, there's a hundred. <laughs> there's so many lines. Yeah, but they're all different once colors. You, once you, yeah, they're all different colors. And once you know what they actually do, it's really only having, like, one line. You only have one sheet, really, to control it. Mm -hmm. On each sail. On each sail, yeah. So, two. Watch out, Jeff. You're going to get knocked in the water. I think it would be quite some time till I sail on and off anchor. Dude, that's what I do with Tula though. You know, I told you, it's like kind of complicated on this boat, but like Tula, that's all I did. I used the motor because I had it in the river by my dad. So I was able to come in the river and just only sail. Like no matter, like last night, no matter how light the wind was, I would just freaking go half a knot and sail. Yeah. And that's all I did. And that's how I like kind of learned like. You got good like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've like gotten used to you guys, you know? It's gonna be weird going home to <laughs> <laughs> Dude, maybe Dominica, like seriously, let's kind of try to, as you guys start approaching there, let's try to really stay in touch yeah. over those couple weeks because I might be able to sweep. Thank you so much love. Thank man. you so much for coming, Jeff. Coming. That was awesome, man. I'm coming to Dominica. Seriously, man, definitely. Safe, we will, man. You too. Have a safe flight, Jeff. And away he goes. We're just filling up with a little more water. Throw out some trash and then we're gonna be on our way. I don't know, what should we do? We are going to clean the boat. Clean the boat, organize, take care of some projects, probably get caught up on some video stuff. Now, should we stay here? Or especially if it's gonna be offshore, like we could surf on Saturday, so we gotta keep that in mind. And if this is closer to the beach, but the wind is supposed to, like today is a day to go to Rock Sound, or not, not until like Sunday or Monday. I mean, either way, we should stay in one spot for a few days. It's just a matter of here or there. I kind of do too. Because we could probably still walk to the beach right there and surf. Yeah. All right, so we'll sail today to Rock Sound. 23 miles from where we are. 
I heard there's like a random ocean hole. What's an ocean hole? Like a blue hole, but it's like in the middle of their town. It's like a giant swimming pool. But oh, not really? like a blue hole, but like an ocean hole. Huh. And more water spigots. Yeah, and people say you can they drink the, that water. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You too. Good workout? It was. I was trying not to put him down the whole way. We're getting ready to sail all over to Rock Sound, like 23 miles away from where we are right now. I'll show you guys on the chart here. So we're right here. This is Governor's Harbor, and we're going straight down. Probably be like a close haul in 10 to 12 knots of breeze. Down to here. Come here, coming around, turn the corner, anchor somewhere in here, Rock Sound. We filled up with water. Um, I Actually, we didn't fill up, we just got 10 gallons. And we still, 11 and a half gallons. We still don't know if we can drink it. I don't, we probably can, but I don't think it's super safe. So we're still only using it for dishes and shower and stuff. And we got two jugs of fresh water, um, one gallon jugs of drinking water till we get to Rock Sound. Then I'm pretty sure we can get some drinking water, that, water there for our tanks. There is a way you can tell, you can like test water and tell if it has bacteria or salt or whatever in it and if you can drink it or not. And I was just watching a video, another YouTube channel, Pat, Patrick Childress Sailing, and he had some really good information about that because he they sail around the world. And uh, and I guess it's pretty important to be testing the water before you put it in your water tanks. And we haven't really ran into this type of thing yet, just being in the Bahamas and the US. Uh, but we should get one of those test kits, or he has two different kinds, I believe. And we should really get them and just make sure what we put in our tank is clean. We bought that Life Straw on Amazon so we could drink that water. Oh yeah, yeah. I bought a Life Straw on Amazon. It's Thinking like it was a desalinization straw. Well, what is it? It's for like rivers and streams, like you know, like not to desal. <sighs> Yeah, we'll see. We just raised the sails and we just raised the sails and it is another beautiful day for sailing in the Bahamas. 10 to 12 knots of breeze and we're already doing seven knots. And this is amazing. We're on like a close reach. Oh, beautiful weather. Flat water. There's Governor's Harbor right over there. We were anchored just back behind that point over there. Here we come, Rock Sound, like 20 miles that way. What you doing down there? Oh, I'm just adding some additions to our safety stuff. Um, we got new little strobes, battery powered strobes that go on our life jackets. Oh yeah, it's bright. Let me see that sucker. Got some specs. With an alkaline battery, you get 16 hours of burn time, and with a lithium battery, you get 20 hours of burn time. What what kind of battery? Double A. Yep. Just one, one, just one double A battery? Wow. 60 flashes per minute, military grade, visible for two or more miles, and rated for 1,000 feet submersion. Rated for 1,000 feet submersion? How are you attaching them? Zip tie? Ah. Because if you're gonna use it, that thing's gonna be out, right? You put it so you can make sure you have enough room to blow it up. I do. And then you attach two zip ties 
so it doesn't move around. And then you can zip it back in our fancy schmancy life jacket. Sweet. Now we have strobes. 